Still shocked, aren't you? That I would take you on a date like this. You shouldn't be. After all, you're the only one who's ever made me feel this particularly uh, joyous. You're fun to be around, and I'll give you some credit. Just not all of it. You're too easy to tease, after all. And you do so like it, don't you? <laughs> You're too easy, though. But I suppose today I could be a bit nicer. It just doesn't suit me. I'm not getting anything out of it. You're the one that's the sole beneficiary, and... Why, yes, I suppose it's not disagreeable to see you smile now and then, but... <laughs> Cheeky as usual. I didn't expect you to be so good at bargaining. Perhaps you have potential in the future, if you can make me something. Or maybe just be happy. Yes, I wouldn't exactly like to admit it, but I do enjoy your company. And what of it? I'm not beyond telling the truth. It's just not usually all that profitable. Hey, what is it you're looking at and I... No. There's no way. It's impossible. You can't be thinking that person over there is attractive when I'm here. No, it's impossible. It, it must be a mistake, correct? Yes, I... I <clears throat> I'm just fine. Why do you ask? Of course I am. Why wouldn't I be... Never mind the fact that you're oogling that one over there. Well, why don't you tell me then? What do they have that I don't? You seem so enamored with them. There must be something. I've got the looks, the personality, the success. What does that plebeian over there have? I'm leaving. No, I told you before, this has nothing to do with that, I... What's wrong with you? All of a sudden, giving me a kiss. You think that can rescue you from this... This obviously nonchalant situation? I'm not upset in the slightest, so you should... Follow me. You... You have some nerve looking at other people during our date. It ruined my appetite, that's all. The idea of someone else having anything to do with you. I can't risk it. Not with everything you've given me. No, I'm not indirectly saying anything. You... Listen. I know you like to put words in my mouth and think that I'm just some gullible swine, but I promise you, it's nothing of the sort. This is as much a personal issue as it is something more than that. Why is it you have a hard time believing it? You're the one who's into me. I'm not supposed to be the one who's... Listen. You're someone very special to me, and that's why I took you on this date. But I can't have you looking at someone else. I... I may or may not get jealous, but there's a perfectly logical explanation for this. You. Yes, it's you. You caused all this. You're mine, and you... you have the audacity to... to look at someone else. How dare you? I've given you everything. So why is it you dare to look at someone else like that? Have I failed you in some way. No. No, you're uncivilized and uncultured. They... they need to appreciate my time more. It's... it's not fair. I've given them everything, and yet... yet they refuse to... dedicate themselves only to me. After I've done that to them, I... I... Perhaps I misunderstood something. 
Yes, perhaps I have been too demanding and went too far. But my dignity, I have to... That's not what matters here, is it? No, even perfection makes mistakes and I don't want to lose them. I... I've never felt this way for someone before. This sense of camaraderie. This divine interest. I... I need to make this right. But how? I just stormed off and left them at a restaurant that they... At least I paid the bill. Uh, uh, that's, that's something, but... That's only a start. What can I do to mend this? Clearly they would expect some sort of compensation... Or something. I... I'm above them. No, I'm not. I need to stop thinking in the olden ways. They are my equal. If anything, they are like royalty to me. So how would I treat royalty? I might as well stop thinking and, and start doing. But the question is where they went. I've come back. I, I realize that this might come as a shock, but I... Nowhere to be seen. My love? Have you seen them? Where did they go? Uh, no. They went out just... How did I miss them? Impossible. Did my impeccable assassination eyes... Did they deceive me? I must find them. Quickly. They don't realize how dangerous it is that they're tied to me. Oh, what the pains of being famous and all. Well, rich and famous. Darling, are you here? What about this alleyway and... Oh, that's where you are. Yes. I thought I wouldn't see you and... Who are these two extras that look like big goons from the movies? Don't tell me you're actually goons in real life. I'd hate to have to kill you. Oh, right. Scratch that. Make you wish you were dead. Now, hands off of my love now. Or, I won't be able to do my apology properly. Don't get me started on this. Yeah, just who do you think you are, man? You're not gonna win in like this. You're gonna get taken down today. Mess with the skulls, you pay the price. Oh, the skulls, is it? What an adequate name, because I'm about to... Do something to your skulls. <laughs> I can't hit him, man. This guy's fast. What are we gonna do? Grab the pencil neck already. Come on. Uh, uh. Oh, so sad. Your attempts are so feeble that I almost forgot you were moving. As for you, I... I'll explain after I'm done clonking their heads together. Uh, uh. Sort of like that. Now be sure to walk over them, unless you wish to walk on them. In which case, bravo. Either way, I... Well, um, I, I forgot about the rest of the date, and, um, what I'm meaning to say is that, well, I may have gotten jealous. I admit it. I've treated you wrong, and I haven't given you the credence you deserve. I... Should be treating you like royalty. You're the only person who stuck with me for so long, despite my attitude, my goals, and my... my faults. Even I have imperfections. I know is how this may sound, but seeing you have... have... an interested look at someone else, I... I... I'm not used to this. I couldn't handle my jealousy. I wanted to do away with them shove untold things in their eyes and ears, and that's very morbid of me, I know. But when I see things that I love, namely you, and of course money, and fame, but mostly you, I, I get defensive of them. Usually with the money and fame, I don't have to worry about someone else stealing them. But with you, I... I get nervous of it. What if there's someone who you see as more worthy of your love and I get left in the dust? Then, then, then I, I, I wouldn't know what to do. 
I've never had someone like you, so the thought of losing you, it's terrifying to me. And as much as this is hard to admit, I was wrong. Even if my jealousy is that way, I should focus it on you, not on them. Not getting upset at you. Instead, I should treat you that much nicer. So you'll have more reason to stick with me. It was the original plan, it's just I lost my composure, and what I'm trying to say in a roundabout way is, I I'm sorry I said too much. You're neither uncivilized or a swine, or anything else I may have said. In fact, you might not be a plebeian after all. You could be something much, much more. Something like a nobleman. That would be interesting, wouldn't it? You're the noblest of beings that I've ever met. And I... Don't wish to share this nobility with anyone else. That is my stance. And if anyone tries to take you away, I'll gladly show them the sharp end of my knife. Caught you. Caught you in my arms like this. Now no one can be closer, can they? No one, because I won't let you out of my sight. At least until I feel better. That's my compromise. You're going to be with me for a long, long, long time, so I hope you're ready. Ready for the best life you could possibly imagine. No one, absolutely no one will exceed my expectations or follow through of making you happy. What is it that would make you the most happy? Just name it and it's yours, and do I take it for granted? Then perhaps I have more to learn than I at first thought I did. You see, I'm so used to things being monetary. After I became famous and rich, everything became a price. What's the price on this or that? And eventually I lost value for the old-fashioned way, so... Here's me, honestly attempting. I have a lot to learn, but as long as you're patient with me, I'm sure I can... Evolve into being the best lover ever, as well as a better person, perhaps slightly less greedy, but a bit more endearing, possessive, perhaps even more sinister when it comes to you, <laughs> or seductive, whichever you prefer, I can be the hardened killer that I was, or I can be... The man passionately in love with you. <laughs> Maybe both. Truth be told, I've never liked it. The idea of taking a life is so messy. And while I may talk the part, actually going through with it sounds dreadful. Instead, I'd prefer we are isolated from the world, or... That would be selfish of me. You can visit your family once a month, and we'll call it even. Well, I suppose it can be when you want. Within reason, as long as I get most of your time. I won't share explicitly with others. And if you happen to have any particularly beautiful or handsome relatives, well, I'm afraid I'll have to interview them about how you're mine. You're mine for life, and that's just how things are meant to be. So, from here on out, you need to accept that I... I'm still learning with all this. And while I could be very visceral, I'll choose to be more kind. I don't want you to think I'm a monster, nor do I want to be controlling. Not outside of those times, but... I can be very controlling in the right situation. I just... I don't want to be someone who you feel is controlling you in a negative way. I want your life to be exactly what you dream of it being. And if that means in my arms, instead of in a leash and collar, then so be it. Maybe even both. You never know what lies ahead. As for me... I think I dream of both situations, where I'm comfortable enough that I can meet your family with pride and you can meet mine, or that I'm keeping you in collar and chain. Of course, the latter is more of a personal taste. 
No, I think you agree on it. It's something you and I share. That devious side of things. Something that I wish to always have as a part of our flavorful existence together. I so do enjoy the time we spend. I enjoy holding you close and flaunting the fact that I have the most beautiful, wonderful person in the world as my only love. The one person who I intend to keep by my side. And the only one who's treated me properly in my life. The only one who's shown me that love does exist instead of being a fable for those idiots who I see as hopelessly hopeful. That alone makes you very, very special. I've not been the best to you, and I know it. It's those bad habits I have that break so slowly. I'm... I've been too confident, too prideful, which led me to my outburst and going too far with what I said, as well as to hurting you. Hurting you in a bad way, of course. Hurting in a good way isn't such a bad thing, though I wouldn't say it's the moment for it, unless you said it too. In which case, I'm sure we could work something out. Your king has his way with his subjects. Of course, you're more like my spouse than my subject. <laughs> I love you. And I can say that with confidence, as love is something I'm only just discovering, but you're the closest thing I've ever had to a love, and the only one I care to want. The only one I care to care about. And in place of my family, which feels so distant, I... I wouldn't mind spending the rest of my forever with you. Of spending my being better than everyone as being just decent with you. Even if I have to step down and... and get an attitude check, I suppose I could do something. It's not completely true, though. I, I can't change all of it. Otherwise, you'd get bored of me. If I didn't pick on you sometimes, as I know you enjoy. <laughs> I happen to know you're ticklish here. <laughs> I knew you would be reacting as such. So why would I stop? Of course you're going to enjoy it. When you're tickled, you smile and laugh. So of course I'm going to do it every single time. Don't be surprised when I take control of the situation and turn it on you. Just like this. <laughs> ah, how I love the taste of your lips. But that's just one of many things I love about you. The way that you can keep up with my sass, my pride, and my stubbornness. You manage to tone things to a doable level instead of making it worse, like most do. You might not play up my ego like others, but that's the best part. I don't need someone to stroke my ego. I need them to be themselves, have their own pride, their own person. Listen. I've made a lot of mistakes in our relationship so far. I've tried to control everything. I've taken a high seat, and instead I want you to be right there by my side. An equal, mostly. Of course... I still retain rights to those dubious times, and you retain rights to being mine. That has to count for something, and I'll be yours as much as it is a strange thing to say. I never thought I'd meet my equal, but you've shown me that my blind pride can't change that. I, If I want to be truly good... A better man than I've ever been, I have to accept my faults as they are, no matter how black and white. And I'm sorry that I've been prideful without anything to back it. Sure, I have my wealth and fame, but that's nothing when compared to, well, that special something that you need to make a relationship like ours work. I would give it all. All of my money, all of my fame... 
if I could just have you. That's probably the most uncool thing I've ever said, but it's 100% the truth. <laughs> it's so silly how I can go from so much pride, so much empty pride, to more of a sobering truth of it. I can understand why people didn't like me. I was too proud. But I won't lose my pride. I'll just use it in a proper way, instead of falsifying it, making it something that it isn't. I will make it something great. I won't just settle for second place, not that I ever have. And I did get some results, it's just some of them I deluded myself in as well. Which there's no truth in that, it's empty. And empty truths have no purpose. Lies are for those of lesser men. I am not that. I am a man who seizes the opportunity as soon as I see it. Like this one. To kiss you. <laughs> and now I must insist that I carry you home. Yes, embarrassing as it may be, I insist because... I know you want that. You want to feel the part of royalty. You want to feel appreciated, loved, do you not? Then it's simple. I will make you feel that by giving you my everything. Deal? <laughs> I knew you couldn't turn me down. In fact, it's quite pointless to try because I do know you so well. And ever since we've met, You've gotten to know me quite well, too, so you understand how stubborn I can be. You might as well use it to your advantage, that stubbornness of yours and the stubbornness of mine. We're kind of a perfect couple, in our own quirky way. Though I previously didn't allow you in, I kept you at arm's length because I was scared. I admit it. I was scared to feel vulnerable, to let you take advantage of me. I thought maybe you might, but you didn't, and it was a false assumption, one that I should have never let enter my mind or my heart. It was pointless to worry because I know now you're a trustworthy person, someone worth my time, and someone worth being as jealous and possessive as I feel right now. If someone were to look at you, I would glare at them, I'd probably also try and threaten their existence, but maybe not, just because I'd be more interested in getting us home. Now, if you'll just bear with it, we're almost there. I could have called for the limousine, but I thought it was so gaudy and beats the point. I want to prove to you with my own effort, as part of both my apology and my promise to you, so that you can see it. My effort, my passion for you, it's all as real as my footsteps and also these hands wrapped around you, these manly ones, which beckon you to understand. I am a man with many needs. You fulfill all of them, and I want to fulfill every need of yours. What kind of true gentleman would I be if I let things enter a category of selfishness? I've been selfish for most of my life, and I'm sick of it. There's no truth in selfishness, let's be honest. It always ends with alone, and it always ends in sorrow. Even if you have it all, you'll feel like you have nothing. If you do not give, you will never understand the joy of taking. Isn't that just how it works? Life in general, as well as our relationship of sorts, we have our little quirks, our little fights, and our little intricacies, but that doesn't change the fact that I need to learn as well. I can't just let you do all the learning and take a high seat like I have. That's irresponsible of me, shameful even. I don't intend to make the same mistake twice, you see. I never will. <laughs> My cute little royal. That's you from now on. I will treat you as such. Have you ever wondered what the princes and princesses felt like? Well, be prepared, because you may now experience that. 
I have the money, the fame, and all of the power to do so. I did save the world, after all, though it was something that was very difficult. I'll be real with you. It wounded me because I never wanted to hurt him. Never mind, I... Look, let's just say saving the world isn't all glory and money. There are things you lose which you can't get back. Things you lose that don't ever feel like they're going to heal, but they're scars all the same. Scars which make us who we are. And I wear mine with pride. And it's just like he said. I would find someone who understands me. And I did. I found you. And that's why I refuse to lose you under any circumstances. So you're forbidden to look at anyone else that way. You're forbidden to leave me as well. Unless, of course, I've done something to offend. Or something to fail you. Fail you in making you happy, then... I accept my punishment of losing my happiness. You are that happiness. You give me that life I never thought I had. I never thought was meant to be. And yet here I am, being poetic in the face of tears that won't stop. I feel them. Just like I feel your warmth in my arms, and I feel guilty because we started off on such a bad footing. I was using you as a waste of time. Even if my words were harsher than my actions, still, I have much to learn, and I will not repeat the same mistakes. I won't allow that. I would sooner see you happier with someone else, and that is not something I consider possible, because I won't let it be. Oh, please. Me getting sentimental. That's... that's a joke. Shut up. I'm fine. You, however. I need to teach you a lesson. I need to show you how much I love you. I need to show you how much I can make you mine. In the right way this time. Instead of forcing it, would you like to be with me? You have such an honest reaction. It's positively adorable. <laughs> oh, I'm relieved. My voice betrays me, but I promise I'm not... You caught me. For you, I feel it all. I feel the tinge of pain, knowing what I didn't do for you. What I should have. The things I've said... Calling you things you're not. You deserve better than that. But that isn't to say we can't have those things in the proper medium. There's a place for held hands like this. For passionate kisses. And of course there's a place for chains and collars. A place for the ebb and flow of life where you can let loose, where you can let me control everything. Of course, where that place is depends. It could be right here, right there, back at home, and... Oh, would you look at that? It looks like we are home. <laughs> home is where the heart is, isn't it? So might as well make it something extra nice. I've never felt this liberated coming home. In fact, I feel uh, quite taken aback by how much I've exposed of myself, but also a little bit proud. I feel like my old friends would, would be making fun of me, but they'd also be proud too. Here we are. Back in our room, in our safe home. So, the only question is, is this a moment to take advantage of? I think so. 
I am still jealous, you know. So I've got to get even with you, of course. Nothing personal. This is just how it has to be. But I've told you already that I love you. Or is it that you just like hearing it? <laughs> well, I suppose I could be troubled to say it again. I love you. And I... I want you all to myself. I refuse to share with anyone, no matter how noble they may seem. They are not me, and therefore I cannot approve of it. Anyone and everyone else is simply second-rate. At least when it comes to our love together. I refuse to compromise on this. There will never be another you, and there will never be another me. So I figure any time lost to helpless extras isn't worth it. Calling them that is a bit rude, I admit it. But when it comes to romance, sometimes you must be rude. And I'm quite stubborn when it comes to us. I don't want anything getting in the way. Even the chance of something else would be too dubious to pass up. I cannot allow anyone to take you away from me. Don't get me wrong, it's not lack of confidence in myself. It's just... I don't want someone wasting our time. Instead, we can be happy together. We can enjoy our life here and there and wherever we wish to be. Friends are fine, but if they try and encroach upon that space that belongs to me and you, I'll have to kill them. Just a warning. Maybe not wholly kill them. I'll just half kill them. It'll be fun, trust me. I won't let anything too bad happen to them. Maybe life-scarring, but not life-killing. See, that's better. And in any case, you won't have to worry about me getting too, too jealous. Just jealous enough that I might torment people who go too far. I don't torture too much. Just, just enough to solve the problem. But a much more pressing issue right now is those lips of yours are not occupied. <laughs> is it wrong that I want to kiss you more? And what of it? I'm madly in love with you, and you are clearly madly in love with me, so I see no issue in the matter. Oh, yes, there is that matter, of course. <laughs> of course, you could make it this or that, but I see no purpose in overcomplicating it. More time for kisses, less time for making excuses. <laughs> well, we obviously have to discuss on whose last name we're taking. What, you didn't actually expect me not to marry you, did you? I don't care what anyone says about it, except for you. If you completely object, then I'll just accept it, but... <laughs> it's exactly as I thought. You're as crazy about me as I am about you. How perfect. So then, let's make it my last name. You can take mine. What? It's just such a good last name. Besides, it would suit you. Your first name is adequate. Beautiful, even. And with my glorious last name, you won't lose out on anything. You'll just gain. <laughs> Are you ready to be wed to me? Good. Then, of course, we'll have to make this whenever we feel like it. How about next week? Sounds good. That way no one will make me as jealous, because we'll have the rings to signify our love. And to prove I'm not all about image and stuff, I'll even marry us with ring pops. I considered it before... Though I thought it was too plebeian-like, but I realize I've used that word incorrectly. Perhaps plebeians know things that are just better, that I've been too stuck up. Though if you change your mind and want a proper ring, something to signify us more, I don't mind either. After all, we might be tempted to eat our wedding rings, and that would pose a problem, a very unique one. <laughs> the point is, I love you. And that will continue indefinitely, as well as you loving me, of course. It's plain and simple. We might as well make it that way. 
Unless you'd like to make it a little more complicated, I have plenty of devices for that. Oh, please, do tempt me, and find out what happens. Just a warning, though, I won't hold back even slightly. So, if you had any intentions of keeping your dignity, I suggest you don't tempt me. <laughs> What? You don't mean that. Uh, I... Uh, clearly I won the showdown of love, so... Uh, uh, what are you... getting at? I... No. That's not how it is. You're clearly misrepresenting things. I... Uh, you shouldn't pick on me. Otherwise I'll misunderstand you. I might retaliate too much and... I'm not going to wear that. No. No, you're clearly not thinking straight. I... Listen, I'll, I'll make you a deal. Surely we can work something out and... <laughs> ah!